Welcome to the Inviting Shift Podcast. This is Christina Smith, your host, and today we're going to do something special. A few weeks ago with my clients, we did away a beautiful half-day workshop on how to release this past year and then step into the new year in a really good way. So we're going to do the review and release in this episode, meaning that we're going to look at the past year and all of the things that happened. We're going to categorize them in some good ways so that we can honor them in ways that feel really, really good. So why? Why do we look at the last year? I think it's really important for us to tune into what's going on in our life. We can get so busy that we just fall into day after day after day. And this is a way to really honor ourselves for all the experiences, all the situations, the relationships, the good stuff, the not so great stuff, all of that so that we can be really clear about where we are now and then how we can move into the next year feeling really, really good. So if that sounds good to you, I want us to start a review of the last year. So just think of it. And of course, maybe for you, some of the most hardest stuff comes up first, or maybe you're the kind of person where all the celebrations come up. Well, in this section, I want us to start looking at all of the things that happened in the last year. We might be asking ourselves questions like, what did I celebrate? What successes or accomplishments happened? Were there specific challenges and what were the outcomes? Did I set specific expectations or goals? And if I did, how did I do on those? What did I do that I enjoyed? What did I learn? What did I learn about myself? All of these questions are going to be so, so important. I love to start with a visualization though. So what we're going to do in this episode is I'm going to walk you through a visualization to help you get clear about what happened last year. Hopefully you'll be able to envision it in your mind. Then we're going to categorize all of those things. And you might need to pause during that to finish your list. And then we are going to celebrate and honor those things in a really good way. So if you haven't already, you can go down to the description and there should be a download to the review worksheets. So I hope that you'll get that. If you do, you'll actually go to a whole page that has both these podcasts on and both the worksheets for reviewing and also for setting intentions. So hopefully you can find those below. And then we're going to get ready for our visualization. So get yourself in a comfortable position. It could be sitting, it could be laying down, it could even be standing. Some people like to do walking meditations. Just be careful because visualizations, we don't want you bumping into anything. So just make sure that you are comfortable. And as long as your back, your spine is long and straight, you are in the right position. And we're going to start with some deep breaths. So we're taking that first deep breath in, feeling the expansion in our chest and our belly. And as you breathe that out, just let go of any physical distractions that are happening. There might be tension. There might be some kind of discomfort. See if you can relax it. I'm going to take another deep breath in, feeling the expansion of your chest and your belly. And when you breathe out, let go of any mental distractions that might be happening, any to-do lists going on, any thoughts outside of this space. And the third deep breath in, feeling the expansion. And when you breathe out, let go of anything else that might be distracting you, sounds, other people in your home. Just let it all go. And you are here grounding in this space. Now I want us to ground into our bodies and into our wisdom. And to do that, we're going to do some heart-centered breathing. So heart-centered breathing is when we imagine that the air that we're breathing is coming directly in and out of our heart space. So breathing 
in, feeling it come directly through our chest. And I know that we breathe with our noses and our throats, but if we imagine that the air, close our eyes and imagine that the air is coming directly in through our heart space and out through our heart space, it almost feels as though it is. So try that. You might even want to put your hands on your heart space. Keep your focus there in your body, breathing in through your heart space, feeling your heart space expand, maybe even feeling your heart aura expand. And when you breathe out, this bright white cloud, imagine, comes out of your heart space. It's full of love and light. And each time you breathe out, that cloud gets thicker and thicker around you of all of this beautiful feeling of love and light. You might even see that cloud filling up your room and embracing you. Holding you safely. When you can feel and see that cloud, you can return your breathing to normal. And as you do, the cloud dissipates and you realize you are on a cloud in endless space. It's just space completely around you. And in the sky, in this space, you see a movie of your last year. It might come month by month, or it may come randomly. It might even come by area of your life that you're thinking of, your work, your family, hobbies, self-care, spirituality. Just notice what comes up on that screen. You might be seeing it exactly how it happened and you might be seeing it exactly how you wanted it to happen. It's all good. No matter what comes up, just know that you are here, whole. You survived by trusting yourself because you have inner wisdom. There may be some memories that you feel less than thrilled at, some areas. that aren't that comfortable. Look how you've grown through all of these things, whether desired or not. Everything is a celebration or a learning. The bumps are simply life. And look at you moving through them. Take one more moment to notice anything else that comes up. Maybe accomplishments. Maybe losses. Maybe you learn some things. Just notice. And take a deep breath. Feel your connection to the earth. Feel that part of you that's grounded in your own wisdom, 
your courage, your hopes, your specific journey. And take a breath. And then come back into your space, being aware of your body. And you can wiggle your toes and fingers and come back and open your eyes. Now I invite you to pause this podcast for a minute and just go through writing all these things down. The worksheets have them all categorized by specific things. And if you just want to journal them, that's fine too. What we're looking at is what did you celebrate in the past year? What did you learn? We're going to celebrate both of those things, your growth and your successes. Then we're also going to look at what you want to carry forward. There may be some unfinished goals that you have, some unfinished projects that you're working on. What is it that you want to carry forward? We're also going to acknowledge our loss and heartache. These things are important. As Queen Elizabeth II said, grief is the price we pay for love. So what is it that you lost this year? Might be a person, an ability, a pet, a situation, an attitude, um, some type of growth. What is it that you have lost or broke your heart this year? And then there may be things that you need to release or let go of. There may even be some things that you need to forgive yourself for or forgive others for. These are the things that we want to clean up before walking into a new year so that we can feel really clear, clean, and focused. So what is it that no longer serves you that you need to let go of? And those are our categories. What I'd love you to do now is fill up all those boxes. In just a second, you can pause this and fill up your celebrations, what you learned, fill up all the bits that you can remember from the past year. If you need more paper than the space I've given you, please use a journal. Um, And if you haven't downloaded the worksheets, you're welcome just to use a journal to track all of those things I just spoke about. So you can pause now. And then when we come back, we are going to do a little ritual around this. Are you back? from writing all of your past year down and really covering all the wins, all the losses. I'm so excited for you. So now what I always like to do for myself is a little prayer. And usually I set myself up to either burn what I release. So you can rip off that bottom of that piece of paper um, or, you know, wherever you've written the things that you want to release. And there's two ways in which you can release these things. One idea is to do a funeral for them and bury them in your backyard. All of these things that you release, we're going to do it ritualistically, which means that we are going to do it sacredly, that these are things that were once part of you, or maybe even once served you that you no longer want to carry with you. So it's symbolic. It's a way that we can bring it into our bodies. The other way is you can simply burn it or sacredly discard it in some way that feels good to you. But we're going to talk a little bit about it. So for me, I start with a prayer. So invite in whatever deity that might feel good to you. It might be spiritual guides, God, universe, source, whatever feels right for you. Invite them in so that you can be heard in your own inner wisdom. 
And first we just want to thank, be thankful for the ability to have all of this happen to us. Not all of us made it through this year. So just being grateful that we have this space here and the energy and the time to really honor ourselves and honor our journey. You might even put your hands on your heart just to thank your heart for continuing to beat, to continuing to guide you to what it is that you truly want. And most importantly right now, to celebrate all of the wins that we had last year. Maybe they are things that we earned. Maybe magically something beautiful dropped into our lap. Maybe beautiful things happen to the people around you. All that we can be grateful for is here when we celebrate all of the things that brought us joy, that brought us peace, maybe brought us from survival to thriving. You might give yourself a big old hug for that, a pat on the back, or again, just staying in touch with our heart by touching our heart space. Along with those celebrations are some really beautiful things that we learned. Some of them may be harder than others to have learned. Maybe some of them we didn't even really want to learn. But those experiences offered us some education in life. Some kind of knowledge. Some kind of knowing we didn't have before. It's making us wiser, creating resilience. And so we celebrate all of the lessons that we learned, whether we wanted to or not. And have that feeling of gratitude in your heart for these celebrations and this learning. Notice how they're making you stronger, happier, and more at peace. And then we move into what it is that maybe we didn't finish or succeed at yet, but we still want to bring forward into the new year. So think about those things that you're still working on that you're still forging through. You might be on the way to a dream or a feeling or maybe it's just pure confidence that you're still working on. Let's honor those things as they cross the bridge from one year to another and give it some of our focus and connection so that we can feel good working on it in the new year. And then we tap into loss and heartache. We may have lost people, relationships, ways of being, abilities you once had. Could be situations, conflicts. What is it that you lost this year? What is it that broke your heart? While we often don't want to think about these things, I think that they're important. If we had loss that caused heartache, it means that something was important enough to us to grieve. And the beauty is that it was once with us. 
that it once served us, even if it doesn't now. You might even find that some of that loss was actually for the best, even if you didn't know it at the time. So we honor these losses, knowing that each one changed us just a little bit. And then the last piece is about what I release, forgive, or let go of. So releasing is about letting go of things that no longer serve us. Or maybe it's just something that's no longer, no longer true, no longer available, no longer something you want. We talk about forgiveness, forgiving other people, maybe for some of these situations that were challenging, and mostly forgiving ourselves for failing, stumbling, making a choice we might not ever make again, for working in ways that are out of alignment with who we are, for being in alignment in out of alignment of who we are. What is it that you need to forgive yourself for so that you can move into the next year in a good way? How can you change that into something that you learned that you can celebrate? Forgive yourself for your humanness, for not getting it all done, for not getting it all right, for being emotional, for reacting or acting in a way that didn't feel good to you, for creating a bigger situation that you had to deal with. Whatever it is that you need to forgive yourself for, do it now. And if it feels right, you might even ask forgiveness from your deity. Or maybe just announce it to them that you now forgive yourself for these things. And then I invite you to sacredly discard of those things that you release. Knowing that this is the moment in which you let them go. This is the moment where you no longer let them hang on, where you have solidly forgiven yourself so you no longer have to punish yourself. Just let them go. May we all be clear and focused to move forward in a way that feels good to us. May we stay in alignment with who we are. May we not forget our own magnificence. May we forgive ourselves for that which did not bring out the best in us so that we may walk away clear, feeling clean about the end of this year and the beginning of the next. So may it be. So that's the end of this release. If you do other rituals for release or review, I would love to hear about them. Maybe we can incorporate them next year. Um, Otherwise, 
This is the time where you can move on to the second podcast, which is going to be all about how we create intention and focus that is in alignment with what we really truly want in the next year. So see that on episode 17. I hope that this was helpful for you.